Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and today's class is going to be creative and powerful. But before we settle into the space on our mats, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, it's basically this online learning community where they have so many different classes that you can take. So recently I've been using Skillshare to learn more about email lists and how I can begin incorporating them on my website because God knows I would love to have a fun newsletter for you all at some point in time. So this course is by Peggy Dean and I love how she adds in some like comical relief here and there which really helps keep my attention. Plus it's so informative that I get like hooked. <laughs> Truly anyone can benefit from Skillshare because there's just so many different types of things on there that you can learn. Plus, when you join the membership, you can connect with other members on there um, that are on Skillshare as well. So you can connect with the community and keep learning. I'll have a link down in my description so that the first 1000 people in my channel that click it get one free month of Skillshare so that you can begin exploring your creativity and learning more today. All right, now when you're ready, go ahead and grab a block or two if you have them, and we'll start in fetal pose on whichever side you prefer. All right, so coming to fetal pose, taking a moment to come to your breath here, and just slowing down, enjoying the present moment, and just resting your head on your bicep. A few breaths in through the nose and an open mouth exhale. All right, and slowly roll onto your back in corpse pose. Again, just taking a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just allowing time to really settle into your space. And let's take a moment to bring awareness to our body. And bringing the attention to your toes, your legs, your belly, your hands, your throat, your head. Acknowledging any sensations that you may be feeling physically and or emotionally and just letting it pass softening your face and removing your tongue from the roof of your mouth and just relaxing the jaw here and adding some space between your teeth allowing your tongue to rest at the base of your mouth one more breath in through the nose and open mouth, exhale, release it out. All right, now we'll slowly draw the knees to our chest, maybe wrapping your arms around your shins and adding a little pressure as you squeeze in. And then taking your hands to your knees and just drawing circles in and out at your own pace. And coming to stillness here, straightening through your legs and feet up the wall. Maybe rolling your ankles here in and out. And once you're ready, go ahead and bend into the knees. And finding happy baby, you can hold on to the outside or inner arches of your feet. And you're going to draw the knees in towards the ribs. And just breathing here. Maybe rocking side to side to massage the spine. Or maybe you just stay on one side or the other. There's no right or wrong here. Whatever feels good to you. And 
And then as you're ready, you can slowly lower the feet back down to the mat and keep them about hips width distance apart. And then you're going to place your palms down on the mat and allow your heels to just barely graze your middle fingers for kind of like a distance measurement. Inhale. And exhale, bridge pose. Lift the hips, pressing into the palms here. You're working to bring your chest towards your chin, but your chin away from your chest. We even have the option here to interlace your fingers underneath and press a little bit higher. Breathing here. One more breath in. And exhale, lower your hips back down. Perfect. And then we're going to take three times rocking back and forth before we rock up to a seat. So for one, two, and three, rocking up to a seat and leaving some space between your ankles. So not crisscross applesauce, but uh, leaving a little bit of space in between your ankles. And then go ahead and place your hands close to your bum behind you. Deep breath in. And exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together as you lift your chest up to the sky, sending your gaze up and back. I'm breathing here. Maybe even allowing the mouth to stay open. One more breath in. And exhale, counter it by rounding the spine here. So kind of taking a seated cow and reaching forward. Fingertips are coming to the mat. And then when you're ready, go ahead and rock up to a tabletop and come to the forearms as we set up for a few cat and cows. So inhale to cow, dropping the belly here, lifting your gaze, and exhale to cat, doming the spine. Another inhale, and exhale. And feel free to take some spinal circles here as well, rounding through the spine, and just drawing circles, taking whatever feels organically good to your body. And when you're ready, go ahead and rock forward onto your belly in a cobra pose. And then we'll take some semicircles here with your neck and just bringing the right ear to the right shoulder and chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder, and then full circles, just making sure to reverse and go both ways to even it out. And when you're ready, go ahead and gently press up to your hands and knees and step the right foot forward in a low lunge. Now you can sink as deep as the right leg will allow you to, as deep as it feels good to your body, but just make sure that your hips are square here. So imagining that there are two headlights on each of your hips and you want to keep those lights beaming straight forward. Beautiful breathing here into this. And then go ahead and step that right foot back and bring the left foot forward now. Coming into a low lunge on the left. Option to bring your hands to some blocks if you'd like or even just um, resting your fingertips on the mat. Maybe you have your hands on your hips. And then coming back to tabletop here, lowering back down to your forearms. When you're ready, go ahead and curl your toes underneath you. Find an inhale and exhale, straighten through the legs into dolphin pose, shifting more weight forward as we straighten those shoulders. So breathing here, coming all the way up onto the toes, 
and then carefully see if you can use your strength to move from your forearms to your palms into a downward facing dog. Beautiful. All right, and now from this downward facing dog, go ahead and gaze forward and travel to the top of your mat as we begin to flow. Right, inhale to mountain pose, reaching the fingers overhead. Exhale, palms come together. And as your forward fold, or as you forward fold, go ahead and really elongate through the spine, reaching it forward to feel it in your hamstrings. So take your time here. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, one more half lift. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Take your vinyasa here. Inhale, upward facing dog. And open mouth, exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome. Inhale, reach the right leg high. And exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale up to warrior three here. So floating the left leg behind you and bringing your palms to heart center or extending the arms out in front of you for a challenge. And just breathing here, knowing that wobbling is good. It simply means that your body is fighting to get stronger and support you. So really take your time, send your gaze kind of forward and down. And then as you're ready, slowly lower that right fingertip down to the mat or to a block. And then open up to the left side in half moon, sending your gaze wherever it's comfortable. So just opening here. One more breath in. And exhale, square that left hip back down, stepping into warrior one. So the left foot is going to come to an angle, arms come right up by your ears, inhale straighten through the front leg, and exhale triangle pose, reach the right hand down, opening the left arm to the sky. You almost want to feel like you're in between two panes of glass here. So reaching, 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 breathing here, using your core kind of hover your right hand to the mat inhale back up to warrior two and exhale using your core go ahead and reach both arms forward keeping a nice strong lunge here and using your core inhale back up to center and exhale reach it back forward inhale to center and back forward really getting those obliques Inhale one more time to center and forward. Awesome. Inhale back to warrior one. And then power up to a one legged Tadasana. So grabbing hold of the left knee here and grounding down into the right big toe for balance. Really squeezing that knee in close to you. And finding something to gaze at with control here go ahead and keep the right hand on the left knee and begin to open up that left arm gazing over the left shoulder now remember you can have a micro bend in the standing leg I'm just breathing here and then when you're ready go ahead and come back to center palms come together and bring the left ankle to the right knee. And you're gonna sit nice and low in this chair variation. Beautiful, now if you would like to, try to play with bringing your left elbow to the left sole of your foot. So you're gonna be taking a twist here. And take your time, it's okay if you wobble out of it. Just breathing here, inhale. And exhale, release back to chair pose. Awesome, sitting nice and low, 
Weight goes back in the heels, arms up by your ears, shooting energy out of your fingertips. And now go ahead and interlace your fingers behind you. And inhale, straighten through the legs, rolling the shoulders back and lifting the chest. Exhale, fold at your hips, lifting the wrists up and overhead. Beautiful, enjoying this shoulder stretch. Also feeling it in the hamstrings. Now staying in this forward fold, release your grip and make your way back to chair pose. Awesome. Inhale and exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift and exhale Chaturanga Dandasana. Take your vinyasa. Inhale upward facing dog and open mouth exhale downward facing dog. Awesome. Gaze forward and travel there. Inhale, Mountain Pose. And exhale, palms come together, elongating through the spine, reaching it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, one more half lift. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And open mouth, exhale, and downward facing dog. Awesome. Inhale, reaching the left leg high this time. And exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot in between your hands. Inhale, up to warrior three. So floating the right leg behind you this time. And bringing your palms to heart center or... Again, extending the arms out in front of you if you took that variation on the other side. And just breathing here, taking your time, remembering that wobbling is good, completely normal, completely natural. And then as you're ready, slowly lower your left fingertips down to the mat or to a block. In half moon, opening up to the right side and sending your gaze again wherever it's comfortable on your neck. Breathing here. One more breath in. And exhale, square that right hip down, stepping back into your warrior one. Inhale, straighten through the front left leg. And exhale, Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Reaching forward and down. And then opening up that right arm to the sky this time. And just breathing here. Using that core to slightly lift you up so that you're not dumping into the left hand. And then as you're ready, inhale back up to Warrior Two. And exhale, using your core, reaching both arms forward. Finding that nice strong lunge here. Inhale back up to center. And exhale, reach it forward. Inhale back to center. And forward. One more time to center. And forward. Awesome. Inhale back up to Warrior One. And then power up to a one-legged Tadasana. So grabbing hold of the right knee this time and grounding down into that left big toe, using that to really gain your balance. Taking a moment here, finding your dristi, something that is not moving, a point of focus. And then with control, Try to keep that left hand on the right knee and begin to open up that right arm, gazing over your right shoulder. Remember the option to keep a micro bend in the standing leg. It does not have to be perfectly straight. Just breathing here. Awesome. 
Awesome, and when you're ready, you can come back to center, bringing your palms together, and then bring that right ankle to the left knee, and sit nice and low. Remember, you do have the option here if you'd like, you can play with that twist here. So bringing your right elbow to the right foot. Really take your time here. And just breathe into it. Inhale. And exhale, release back to chair pose when you're ready. Interlace the fingers behind you now. And inhale, straighten through the standing leg or through the legs, <laughs> rolling your shoulders back and lifting your chest. Exhale, fold at the hips, lifting your wrists up and over. And breathing into this, maybe even shifting to the left, maybe shifting over to the right, bending into the opposite knees. And then coming back into center. Releasing your grip, coming back to chair pose, inhale, and exhale, forward fold, release it down. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high to low plank, take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog, and open mouth exhale, and downward facing dog. And deep breath in through the nose here and out through the mouth releasing that heat one more in through the nose and out through the mouth all right from here you're going to gaze forward and shift into a high plank you're really holding a nice strong plank here inhale open up to side plank on the left keeping in mind that you do have the option to come to your knee for a little bit more stability if you'd like you also have the variation of floating your foot if you'd like whatever feels good to your practice today just lifting those hips a little bit higher knowing that shaking is good one more inhale and exhale release back to high plank awesome now you're almost there inhale to side plank on the right side right into it remember your modification if you need perfect lifting those hips just a tad bit higher one more breath in so strong and exhale high plank lower down with control nice slow chaturanga to your belly making your way all the way to alligator pose so bringing your forearms in front of you and resting your fore forehead down onto your forearms you also have the option to take a belly down shavasana here um, with one cheek to the mat palms can come by your sides facing up and just rest here for a few breaths And as you're ready, if you are, <laughs> we're gonna come back to center. And setting up for locust pose, palms are gonna come behind you, facing down, or arms are gonna come by your side, the palms are gonna be facing down on the mat. You're gonna go ahead and engage your glutes before even lifting your chest and your legs, and that's just to protect your lumbar spine. Go ahead and lift the chest, lift your legs. One more breath in. And exhale, release all the way down to the mat. And you can press up through tabletop here and come to a seat. And you're gonna go ahead and extend the right leg out in front of you and then draw the sole of the left foot towards the inner right thigh. And you're going to keep your hips nice and square here. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. 
and exhale reach your chest forward making sure you're not arching your back but more so pulling the chest forward and just breathing here so inhale and then on each exhale maybe you find a little more space to pull forward And slowly release and then extending the left leg out in front of you this time drawing the sole of the right foot towards the inner left thigh remembering to keep those hips nice and square inhale to lengthen and exhale pulling your chest forward making sure not to arch your back again so reaching for your toes is not the goal it's more so bringing your belly towards the top of your thigh if you want to think of it that way. And breathing in through the nose. And on each exhale, finding a little more space forward. And then slowly release, bringing both legs in front of you this time. Another inhale, lengthen. And exhale, seated forward fold. Pulling the chest forward. Maybe even working to get your forearms onto the mat as opposed to necessarily touching your toes. Releasing your jaw, releasing your face, removing any tension in your face, keeping some space in between your teeth here. One more breath in. And exhale, release, slowly lowering down onto the mat and then opening the knees up wide and bringing the soles of the feet together into reclining bound angle pose, also known as Supta Baddha Konasana, one of my favorite postures. And just taking a moment to allow gravity to go ahead and do the work here. And your arms can come out to your sides. Um, your arms can rest on your belly. Maybe one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Just breathing here. Slowly bring your hands to the outside of your knees and then you're going to close your knees together like a book and draw your knees up to your chest but just keep your, your head relaxed down on the mat. No need to come bringing your nose to your knees, just bringing your knees to your chest and then wrapping your arms around your shins. A nice soft hug here. Maybe you rock side to side a little. And as you're ready, go ahead and relax all the way down to your mat in corpse pose, Shavasana. Now take up as much space on your mat as you can here. Fully relax the jaw, removing the tongue from the roof of the mouth, removing any wrinkles in between your brow, and re just releasing any expectations of yourself at this moment. This is not a performance, this is just for yourself. Your only job right now is to simply exist in this space. And so one more inhale to fill the belly up with air. And an exhale, releasing all the heat from your practice.
friends, you can stay in Shavasana as long as time permits for you. But if you are ready to continue on with your morning, afternoon, or evening, we'll start with a gentle breath in through the nose. And an open mouth exhale, release it out. Slowly begin to bring movement back to the fingers and toes. And then you have the option to roll onto your side in fetal pose, just as we started. I'm just taking a moment to really absorb the last bits of today's practice. And when you're ready, you can press up to a seated position, keeping a soft gaze, or maybe your eyes are completely closed. And then you can bring your palms together to your forehead as a reminder to really be mindful of what you allow in here. Bring your palms to your lips as a reminder to speak kindly to yourself, speak kindly to others. Just being really aware of what you release out into the world. And then bringing your palms to your heart as a reminder that you are loved. You were created on purpose for a purpose. You are beautiful, you are handsome, you are special, and you completely and totally matter. You can find a deep breath in through the nose here and an open mouth exhale release it out you can flutter your eyes open god bless friends thank you so much for taking time to practice with me today i appreciate the support and the love on this channel and i hope you enjoyed today's class another thank you to skillshare so much for sponsoring this video um, be sure to click that link down below to get a one with a Skillshare for free. It's such an awesome, awesome, awesome resource. And I definitely fully do recommend it. It's pretty amazing. I will see you in the next class. If you would like to donate to me or my channel, I'll leave my Venmo and my Cash App on the next screen. And my GoFundMe for my future studio will be down below. I appreciate it so much. I'm truly working very hard. So... I appreciate all of you. It, it truly means much more than you can even imagine. All right, God bless, and I will see you in the next class. Bye.